Deborah will now have special no, story time. And so they wanted to see him not able to preach. And the only way they could figure out for him to not be able to preach was to <clears throat> end his life. Okay. So the next morning, and there was a plot to kill the um, Paul. The next morning, a group of Jews got together and bound themselves with an oath not to eat or drink until they had killed Paul. And there were more than 40 of them that were in this conspiracy. And they went to the leading priests. And the elders, and they told them, we have bound ourselves with an oath to eat nothing until we have killed Paul. What a terrible thing. Isn't that awful? That's about the most awful thing I can think of. So you and the high council should ask the commander to bring Paul back to the council again and pretend you want to examine his case more fully, and we will kill him on the way. So they're going to wait till he's out on the road, basically. But Paul's nephew, and here's a story of a hero young boy. Now, not all the heroes in the Bible are women. You know, the little girl, the little servant that was helping Naaman when he had leprosy, but not all of them. This one is a hero young boy. Paul's nephew, his sister's son, heard of their plan and went to the fortress and told Paul, Wow, it must have been some way you could go to the jail and get in and talk to a prisoner. So then Paul calls one of the Roman officers over and he says, take this young man to the commander because he has something to, important to tell the commander. And so the officer did. He explained, Paul, the prisoner, has called me over and asked me to bring this young man to you because he has something important to tell you. And so the commander took his hand and led him aside where nobody else could hear, and he asked him, what is it you want to tell me? So guess what Paul's nephew told him? Exactly what he had heard. He said, some Jews are going to ask you to bring Paul before the high council tomorrow, pretending they want to get some information, but don't do it, because there are more than 40 men. Well, that's a little more than the people that we have in the congregation today. More than 40 men hiding along the way, ready to ambush him. You know what that means, ambush? Kind of jump out of the bushes and try to take him down. Yeah, like a drive-by. <clears throat> now we're not going to go there. They had vowed not to eat or drink anything until they have killed him. They weren't even going to eat any food. No breakfast, no lunch, no dinner, nothing to drink. That, that was some serious, serious promises they made. Hmm. They are ready now, just waiting for your consent. And then the commander says, don't let anyone know you told me this. And the young man, do you think he let anybody know? No, he knew how to 
keep his mouth quiet because this was so important. So then Paul, what happens to Paul? Well, the commander called two of his officers and he ordered, get 200 soldiers ready. That's a few people to leave for Caesarea at 9 o'clock tonight. Do you suppose it was dark at 9? You're near the equator. You only get about 12 hours of daylight. We found that out when we went to the Caribbean. We thought we were going to have lots of sunshine like we have in Michigan until 10 o'clock. Nope. 6 o'clock. Got dark. Just like it's coming soon to us. And then he says, get ready to leave at 9 o'clock tonight and also take 200 spearmen. How many is that, 200 and 200? 400 and 70 mounted troops. 470 mounted troops. That, that's like a pretty good army, isn't it? Well, provide horses for Paul to ride. Paul's not going to be going in his chains, dragging his chains. He gets a horse to ride and get him safely to Governor Felix. The Roman governor Felix. The Romans had a, um, a word that they called Pax Romana, and that meant, that actually meant peace, Roman peace. Because they could say, if you were breaking the law, guess what? We can put you in jail. Guess what? If you're breaking another law, we can actually have you end your life. Do you think well, people, when they're afraid of that, they kind of obey a little better? Well, the Roman peace meant that people had to obey. And the only safe place for Paul was with the Romans. He wasn't safe with the church there, the Jews. He was safe with the government. Hmm, that is strange, isn't it? Because you'd think the church would be a safe place to be. But they didn't like what he was preaching. And today we're going to hear about another man that they did not like what he was preaching. And there's going to be another ambush planned. And there's going to be another, oh, I wonder if he gets away safe. We'll have to wait and see. We're going to have a quick prayer and we're going to go back to our seats. And hopefully you'll listen very carefully to what we're going to find out about Martin Luther, man of faith. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you that we get to have story time. And thank you that this is a true story about you doing a true thing for one of your true disciples, the Apostle Paul. Thank you that you have used the government to keep people safe. And sometimes you use it to other people have been persecuted. But keep us safe and help us have hearts that are faithful no matter what the threat against us. Because you were faithful to the cross and all the way through the resurrection, and now you're in heaven living forever. Bless these young people to love you with all their heart the rest of their life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And you may, you may not go back to your seat yet. settings back there that make it make it have an echo or it could no, be in the wrong place. No there's, I don't no, there's not. No, there's not. <laughs> All right. How many households do we have? I'm gonna get this to a household, this to a household, this to a household. And ladies, even though you're in the same household, there's enough. Okay. And one more thing I was gonna let you choose. This is for staying busy, but you have to really keep on listening, all right? I hope I, I hope I have six here. You know what? This might not work exactly as well. Can you do that? Can you keep that in your household? And next time I'll do better, all right? So those are for you to help you listen, because when you listen, you get, learn. you get to learn. So now you may go back to your seats, and thank you for being so quiet in church and learning right alongside the adults. Amen. Brother Ray, you saw that this says special music. 